how do you find the time elapsed between two times, a start time and an end time? So here's my answer for it. Here's a setup of the particular spreadsheet. So at the top, we've got the dates going up one day at a time. So I've put one week's worth of dates at the top. Then I've put some start times in and then I've got some end times and I want to find the difference between these two times. Well, when the end time is on the same day as the start time, it's really easy. All you need to do is minus one from the other. So down here in the total, we'll put equals and the end time is the biggest number. So I'm going to just click that one and then put minus and then click the start time. And when I enter, you'll see that that says 10 hours and 30 minutes. And so let's just check that. We start at seven, we're finishing at 5.30. So you can see that that's 10 and a half hours. So we can copy this along for the rest of them. And you'll see that they all work fine. We've got 10 hours, 15 minutes, six hours and 30 minutes but when we get to this end one we've actually got a time that's going into the next day this is five o'clock the next morning and you just end up with loads of hashtags so this method of subtracting one from the other works perfectly when it's all in the same day but when it's not in the same day, we have to do something else. So there's lots of ways of doing this, but here's one method. So if you highlight this row just here and add a new row in, and I'm going to give this a heading days or next day plus one. So what you do is if it goes through to the next day, you put a one in here. If it goes through to the following day, you put a two and so on. So if it's all on the same day, just leave these blank. But this one, we're going to put a one. So make sure the formatting for this row is not custom, but it's just general. Okay, so that when you put a one in there, it shows as a one. Now the formula's got to be slightly different. So I'm just going to delete the formulas that we've got here and redo this. You type equals and it's this end time minus the start time. That's the same as before. The difference now is that you add that one there, B3 in this case. So if there is a one in there, it will take it through to the next day. But you could put a two and it takes it through to two days later. So in other words, you're putting the number of days from the day that you're in. So let's enter that. So we've still got 10 hours and 30 minutes down here. And when we drag this one across, you'll now see that that's 21 hours because it's gone through to the next day. If we stopped work at eight o'clock the next day, you'll see that it now says zero. So the problem here is with the formatting. So what we need to do is make sure that the formats along here are based on the hours between those two times. So let's just highlight them. So I've highlighted this set of results along the bottom here. We're going to open up the dialog box for number and then need to come down to custom and we need to make sure that this here where it says general, you need to put a square bracket and then H H and then close the square bracket and then put the colon and put M M for minutes. It's those square brackets that's going to make a difference to this. Click OK and you see now it's 24 hours. If this was not one and we started at eight and finished at eight, of course that's zero hours. And then if we finished at nine o'clock let's put nine in here that's one hour but if it was nine o'clock the next day we'll put one in there it shows 25 hours so all you're doing is putting the number one 
if the finish time is the next day. If the finish time is the following day after that, you put a two in there and that shows us 49 hours. So just to finish this particular spreadsheet off, we need to total up the hours for the week. So we'll click into this one here under the week total. And now we just need to add all these up. So we're going to use the sum function. So we'll come up to auto sum, click that, and that will add these up. Press enter, and that will tell us how many hours and minutes for the whole week. Remember that last cell, I did include that in the formatting. So I'll just show you quickly. We'll open up the format. That last cell must also have double H in there inside the square brackets. So hopefully that short video has helped you deal with crossing over midnight into the next day to work out the times. If you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss future videos. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Seven hours